What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today I am starting a new series called What Needs to Change. In this series I will be talking about a lot of different things in Destiny 2 as well as the future games in the franchise that need to change but that are realistic or things that I would like to see happen. So there pretty much will be no talk of invulnerability or infinite ammo or anything out of the ordinary. Starting off, in this video, we will be talking about the Destiny 2 storyline and what needs to change. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. This has already been talked about many times before by many different people. But, this is the first time I'm hitting on it. However, enjoy the gameplay in the background and don't pay too much attention if I die. So, the story. Destiny 2 has come a very long way in terms of its story from Destiny 1, from which I will refer to it as D1 and D2 from this point on. For all those who have played D1 in the beginning, there wasn't really a story and everything was pretty much written in the Grimoire cards that no longer exist in D2. D1 didn't really start getting an actual story until the Taken King or TTK, but even then it wasn't really a story. Instead, it was more of just cinematics, which is nice, but it started a trend in the Destiny storyline. In D1, our character did have a voice, even though it wasn't really used much. But in D2, if I remember, we don't even speak at all. In that one scene that we were about to talk, our ghost interrupts us, and then it speaks for us. And I really hate to say this, but the Destiny franchise really, really needs to become more of an MMORPG when it comes to storytelling. We as Guardians in Destiny need to make our own decisions, and after we make a decision, our Guardian needs to speak up and voice their opinion. So, Bungie, give us options, and then let us press a button to choose where we want to go and what is it that we want to do next in the game. But reward us, and give us consequences for our decisions. Things like this make a great story in a game. It's diversity, and gamers love that shit. What doesn't make a great story is like 20 cinematics and calling it a story. Also, what's up with the magic number of 10? It was like 10 missions and then the story of Destiny 2 was over. Okay, it was more like 16, but all Bungie did was add 6 more missions from the last expansion in D1. Most of our missions in D2 were on the EDZ, then like 3 missions on Titan, and 2 on each other planet, and then back to Earth. I would have liked to see more of a reason to go back to those planets story-wise, but the only reason to go back to the other planets are flashpoints, which are just heroic versions of a public event, Cage treasure chests, which you have a chance to get an exotic, and then you have patrols. But that's all just endgame content and not even part of the story. There have been a short amount of missions, and this has been a thing since TTK, and there have been many people who just created another character just to do a speed run through the story within a few hours. I don't know. Destiny 2 seemed like it was kind of rushed in all aspects. But what would be nice to see is individual stories for each class that eventually link with the other class stories. For example, the Warlock, Titan, and Hunters have their own story that later on connect in order to destroy Gaul. Speaking of Gaul, did anyone else besides me think that the boss fight at the end was kind of cheesy? Like, you fight Gaul as he's using different elements, and then after you kill him, he turns into this awesome lava looking creature, from which I personally was getting excited because I thought we were going to have to kill that version of Gaul next. Just to be disappointed? Because the Traveler ended up destroying him instead. I wouldn't have had an issue if we got to fight the Lava Gaul and got his health down to like 10%, then the Traveler step in to destroy him. In the end, there could have been a lot done to the D2 storyline in order to make it a way better story than what it was. However, I will say this. The D2 storyline was a lot better than the D1 storyline, hands down. And for this, I can appreciate it. Hopefully, Bungie continues to learn, grow, and expand its thoughts for better solutions to what a great story is. So what do you guys think about the D2 story? Do you agree or disagree with me about everything that I said? Let me know in the comments below. And that fellow guardians brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, and if you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Feedback is always appreciated. 
subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.